Well, dear students, in topic one and topic two, I think we have seen some concepts of complex number. And now let us continue topic three. Now, the imaginary number consists of all numbers, bi, where b is the real number and i is the imaginary unit with the property that satisfy i squared is equal to minus 1. The first four power of i establish an important pattern and should be memorized. Now let us see power of i. For example, i is the power of 1 is i because every number the power of 1 is itself. i squared is minus 1. i is the power of 3 is minus i. i is the power of 4 is 1. What about, let me ask one question. i is the power of 0 is what? It is 1 because any number the power of 0 is 1. By the way, i is not now for this class, i is not English letter. i is number. What type of number, my student? Is that a real number? No, that is a complex number. So i is for us mean for mathematics this is number now in order to understand the power of i let us see this circle look i here is uh, when i is a power of 3 is minus 1 i is a power of 4 is 1 i squared is minus i by itself is i so if you get some Largest power, for example, i is a power of 100, i is a power of 1000. Uh, uh, to simplify that, you have to divide the exponent by 4. And then, if the remainder, if the remainder is 0, that means i the power of 0. If the remainder is 0, uh, that the given equation will be equal to i the power of 0. The same is true. If the remainder is 1, it will be equal to i the power of 1i. If the remainder is 2, it will be equal to i the power of minus. I mean, i the power of 2, it will be minus 1. It's the same thing. By the way, if we divide one number by 4, the remainder will be 0, 1, 2, 3. The 0, 1, 2, 3. So, for example, let us take this one. Find or simplify as a power of 2 and 3. So the mechanism is the mechanism is divide 2 and 3 by 4. You will get remainder 2. So i is a power of 2 is we know that i is a power of 2 is always always minus 1 for this for this. So now how to find or how to simplify this? Divide this by what? 4. 4. So the remainder tells us the result. The result. So i the power of 37 is i. i the power of this is 1. Means the remainder is 0. 0. The remainder is 0. Now by, by using this uh, method, we can simplify different type of equations or and the next point is argument or amplitude of a complex number. Amplitude is nothing but it's a, a, an angle between. It's an angle between x and y. Argument of a complex number z is equal to x plus iy is the angle formed by the complex number. The complex number. So the argument of a complex number z is equal to this is you know that in the Pyta, uh, in the trigonometric function tan theta is equal to y over x so theta is equal to or the argument of the complex number will be tan inverse of y over x this is very simple this is very simple but there are some algorithm algorithm to find the argument of z is equal to x plus i y step one find the value of tan inverse of y over x lying between zero and pi over two let's it it be theta. Step two. Determine in which quadrant the point Px and y belongs. 
if you know that first if p of x y belongs to the first quadrant the argument of z dies itself the argument of z is itself if p of x belongs to the second quadrant then use this formula use this, this formula to find the argument the argument of z will be pi minus the theta theta if p of x y belong to the third quadrant use this formula this or this they are the same they are the same if p of x belongs to the fourth quadrant use this formula use this formula or this formula they are the same let us clarify by using examples for example find the argument of z z is equal to i this by the way it is not written in the standard forms for so first we have to write in standard form we get uh, uh, like this we get like this uh, simply it is times uh, multiply this one plus i over one plus i finally we get like this so the real part is minus 1 over 2 and the imaginary part is 1 over 2. So uh, tan theta is equal to 1 over 2 over minus uh, minus 1 over 2. Theta is equal to the inverse of that. Finally, we will get theta is pi over 4. But be reminded uh, where are these points are located. located. So I think this is in quadrant, in the second quadrant. So what is the formula to find the argument if p of x y belongs to the second quadrant pi pi minus yeah pi minus theta theta our theta now for this uh, particular example is uh, pi over four so uh, uh, the formula is pi minus pi over four it gives the argument of z is three over four pi three over four pi pi right by the way it's right and there are some property of the arguments. Uh, so the argument of Z1 times Z2 is equal to argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2. And the argument of Z1 over Z2 is such like this. So, for example, find the principle of this. So solution argument of this times now Z1 times this, the argument of this plus the argument of this. So find the argument of this and then use uh, this uh, property this simply uh, we can find like this the same is true here the same is true here uh, using this uh, uh, property we can handle it we can handle it the next one is polar form of a complex number a polar form of a complex number by the way uh, z is equal to x uh, plus y i is sometimes we call it uh, a rectangular form a rectangular form uh, but when i say when we say polar form of a complex number it is a way of expression of complex number using angle Pol means polar means i think angle 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 so uh, you can find the modulus argument of uh, form of the complex number z in order to express a given rectangular form or to change a given rectangular form to polar form we have to follow some steps first you have to find uh, modulus argument and you have seen up this point that a complex number z will usually written in the form of like this then the modulus argument form in an alternative way of writing a complex number this uh, alternative way of uh, the uh, writing uh, express this number and it includes the modulus of the number as well as it is argument means the angle formal between uh, the imaginary and the real uh, part the modulus the argument form looks like this now in order to understand z is equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta let us see is uh, some uh, graphs sorry okay now look here uh, we know that z is equal to uh, x plus uh, y i y i now uh, for this uh, this uh, assume this is uh, z this x uh, y the point 
a point. Now, this is R and this one is, I think, where well, this is a y and this is um, x. This is x. So, uh, what is sine theta? Sine theta is equal to z uh, uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So, uh, y is equal to r sine theta and we'll, we'll get x is equal to r cos theta. So, instead of x, we will use r cos theta, r cos theta like this and uh, instead of y, we will say r sine theta, so z is equal to r cos theta plus uh, r sine theta. I r sine theta, take out r is a common, I uh, will find cos theta plus i sine theta. So, uh, finally, uh, we have uh, such like form, z is equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta. What is that? It's an argument of z. What is R? The modulus of Z. So R, R is the modulus of the number. Theta is an argument of the number. So if you if you uh, if you can find R and theta, it is simple. Uh, uh, it's simple to change a, a given uh, rectangular form to polar form. So it is a matter of finding uh, the modulus and the argument of a given complex number the given number. For example, let us see this uh, example. If you are given z1 is equal to 1 plus i plus 3 and uh, we want to change this rectangular form to polar form. Polar form. Let us see solution uh, for z1, a direct exercise to z2. Now, modulus of Z1 means the magnitude of uh, this will be 1 square plus this. Finally, you get this. R is equal to T. What about theta? Tan theta is equal to this. And the theta is pi over 3 because uh, theta, uh, the point 1 uh, root 3 is located in quadrant 1. We take as it is. Uh, as it is. So, using these two things, we can find the solution set. Z1 is equal to R cos theta plus I sine theta. So, Z1 is equal to 2 cos pi over 3 plus I. This form is called polar form of a complex number. Complex number. Complex number. And the another uh, point that we, have, that we will you see, is multiplication and division in polar form. Uh, this, uh, we know that Z1 is this, Z2 is this. Then, when we multiply this, we'll get this. This means Z1 uh, uh, times Z2 is equal to R1 uh, times R2. Finally, we'll get this. By the way, the proof is on the module. You can observe uh, the module. So, and Z1 over Z2 also this. Now look here, the relation means R1, R2, R1 times R2 into cos theta 1 plus theta 2. And I sine theta 1 plus theta 2, the same. But when it will be divided, it will be minus. It will be minus. The difference is this, and it's also R1 over R2. For example, if Z1 is this and Z2 is this, find the product of this. Now, it's simply using the above, this property. It's simply using this property. And finally, we'll get like this. It's simply adding the uh, theta 1 and theta 2 and multiplying r1 and r2. But first, we have to, yeah, of course, yeah, it's given r1. So it's very easy. It's very easy. There is. When I see an argument, uh, what is the argument of a product of? a complex number. So the argument of the product of two complex numbers is the sum of their argument. We know that uh, Z1 times Z2 is already um, like this, already like this. So how can you find, assume this is what? Uh, assume this Z3, a complex number, one complex number. Well, what, what's the argument of this Z3? Z3. So this Y over X, the value of Y is here and x. So it's tan 
the argument of z3 the argument of z3 will be uh tan -huh, uh, inverse of tan inverse of uh, why i say tan because because here uh, tan inverse of uh, sin theta plus theta 2 over cos theta plus theta 2 because now uh, this I consider this as y and this or x. So the tan inverse of tan of this will be theta plus theta 2. So the argument of z1 plus z2 will be the sum of the two angles. The sum of the two angles. The sum of the two angles. And uh, let us see some uh, Dimovres formula is a non mathematician person. Uh, and his formula says that the, uh, we know that z1 times z2 is this. Uh, similarly, if we have zn, if we have zn, so uh, uh, we can generalize, we can generalize zn is equal to r the power of n cos of theta 1, theta plus theta plus theta, 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 theta. theta plus i sine multiple axis. So lastly, we'll get r the power of n into cos n theta plus i sine n theta, which is called the Moivre's formula. He is a known mathematician, a known mathematician. Uh, if you find the proof, the proof is on, uh, available on the module, on the module. For example, express in polar form express for r4 now let us say z is this r is what it's a matter of finding r is this uh, r is rotated because square root of it uh, to square plus like that we'll get uh, finally we'll get this and r theta you have to find theta theta is equal to over 2 so it's pi over 4 and his uh, this means this so using this formula using this formula r is the power of n r is what uh, yeah, root 8, root 8, the power of 100, n is what? For, for this case, uh, n is what? 100. So, pi of 4 plus like this. So, when you simplify this, like, we get like this. So, using this, we can simplify uh, the Morris formula. We can simplify any polar form such, which is written such like this. So, like this. And the other mathematician's formula, we call it Euler's formula. The complex number z is equal to this can be written in exponential form as this, which is called Euler formula. Z is equal to r e the power of i theta. I theta. R e r e the power of i theta. So now if what will be if z the power of n? Z the not z the power of n will be look it r the power of n cos n theta plus i sine n theta. This is the other formula. So, we can express using Euler's formula. It will be what? R the power of n is a power of i n theta. I simply add n n here. N, n here. So, let us see example. Express the complex number this using Euler's formula. Euler's formula. So, Euler's find uh, want what r and theta and n n is already i think given so z theta first let us see theta. let us find uh, the r r is very easy uh, so r is 2 theta is pi over 6 so this will be this will be this will be to the power of to the power of r the power of n to the power of 7 is the power of five, uh, this is 7 and to memorize let us see some the previous one i n theta i n theta so so to the power of 7 to the power of 7 is 108 e the power of 7 over 6 pi i what is the way six comes from theta by the way so this means this using Euler formula is that clear my students now already uh, I am finished 
now is a way to finish the uh, presentation but i want to give a class work a class work uh, students if you remember among uh, from our specific objective one of is uh, after the end of this presentation our student is able to solve any mathematical problem or equation so in order to meet this objective please find the solution of the solution set of 5x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. I'll give you three minutes. Start. Well, students, did you solve it? Ask yourselves. Uh, by the way, let me uh, put the solution set is like this. If you, if your answer is like this, you can get the answer. The answer. But before this, if you remember, in order to uh, solve this, simply let us use. Uh, a quadratic formula minus p plus or minus p square minus 4ac but first let us check b square minus 4ac b square means here 4 under the square root of 4 minus uh, 4 times a is 5 times c is what 1 so this is minus 16 minus 16 do you remember it doesn't have a solution say because uh, uh, is is greater is less than zero is less than zero or uh, minus 16 is undefined but under set of real numbers under set of real numbers but after we learn a complex number minus 16 means by the way minus four i mean uh, four i four i so we'll get such type of solution set solution set Thank you very much. And I have a tip, by the way. I have a tip. Uh, uh, this is interesting equations, uh, which you call it a beautiful equation in mathematics. E is a power of i pi. Look, e is what? Irrational number. Look it. Irrational number. i is what? Complex number. Pi is what? Irrational number. Plus one. One is what? Real number. Look it now. A real number, irrational number, and a complex number together gives zero. It's a, it's a very, very amazing. And we call it, this is a beautiful occasion, by the way, in order to the proof. Open and open this link and use, use it. Thank you. If you have a question, please drop for my email. And this is my Telegram channel. Uh, and... I thank you for watching this presentation and we'll meet in the coming chapter 3. Thank you very much. See you.